everyone, I'm Luke from Blister, and today we're talking about the K2 Reckoner 102. So the Reckoner series is an all new collection of skis from K2 for the 2021 season. Um, effectively, the three new Reckoner skis replace the old Marksman and Catamaran that have been in the line for a few years now. And this is their K2's all mountain freestyle lineup. It will consist of this ski, the Reckoner 102, and then the Reckoner 112 and the Reckoner 122. So one of the ways that the Reckoners differ from the Marksman and the Catamaran is that the Marksman and Catamaran were asymmetrical. They had deeper taper lines on the outside edge and shorter taper lines on the inside edge. Um, no more of that with the Reckoners. Symmetrical shape, pretty standard. And another big way they stand out is that the taper lines on the Reck Reckoner series are much mellower, uh, don't have as much taper as the Catamaran and the Marksman, which were super tapered skis. Uh, we think that's part of why the Marksman and Catamaran were really surfy and loose. Um, but K2 is reverting to a slightly more traditional shape. And honestly, the Reckoner skis look very similar to the old K2 shredded shredder lineup um, and it seems like they're kind of looking at a more traditional design aimed for a bit more versatility. Another way these Reckoner skis differ from the skis they replaced is the construction. Uh, the Catamaran and the Marksman were pretty heavy for their size. The Reckoners are definitely a lot lighter. Um, the Reckoners all use an Aspen fir wood core and then they have carbon stringers and what K2 calls their spectral braid. Essentially that's a carbon weave that uh, varies in terms of its uh, angle and density. So at the tip and the tail, it's a lower angle weave, uh, more of an open weave, and that's designed to give the ski a bit more uh, flex and uh, make it a little less torsionally rigid at the ends of the ski. But then the weave uh, is denser and more tightly woven in the middle for more torsional rigidity underfoot. Um, the other side effect of that is that these skis are pretty light. Um, this 184 centimeter Reckoner 102 is coming in around 1920 grams per ski. Uh, compared to the whole market, that's pretty light. It's not as light as some touring skis, but definitely much lighter than the Marksman um, and lighter than some a few of the burlier all mountain freestyle skis on the market right now. In terms of rocker profile, uh, the Reckoner 102 definitely has a more dialed back rocker profile compared to the Catamaran and the Marksman. Um, it does have tip and tail rocker, camber underfoot, um, but it's a bit more mellowed out. The rocker lines aren't as crazy deep as the Marksman, um, and overall looks pretty average in terms of rocker profile. In terms of flex pattern, uh, this ski is pretty soft, actually. Tips and tails feel pretty similar. They're really easy to bend. And then, whereas some skis ramp up really quickly in terms of stiffness as you move to the middle, this is definitely more of a slower, smoother ramp up. Um, the whole ski feels fairly easy to bend apart from directly underfoot. So we expect the ski to be really playful and easy to butter and press. Um, and we're very curious about how it's gonna feel at speed and choppy conditions, especially given the flex pattern and the low weight of this ski. Finally, in terms of mount point, um, our pair, the mount points are measuring around minus four centimeters from true center. There's also a, la a line labeled team that's about two centimeters in front of the four centimeter one. Um, both of those mount points are very far forward, um, very much in line with freestyle skis. Um, so we expect to be able to ski really centered on this ski, but we'll also be moving the mount point back a little bit to see if you could also kind of ski it in a more traditional style, driving the tips a bit more. So that's it for the K2 Reckoner 102. You can head to blisterreview.com to see our full written first look, which includes all of our measured specs, our rocker profile pictures, our flex pattern numbers, and how the design of the Reckoner 102 compares to some of its competition. So head to blisterreview.com and then stay tuned for our full review.